Eustis police are offering a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest in a murder. Police say 39-year-old Aseni Laguerre was shot and killed last night outside of his home on Palm Avenue. West 2's Haley Crumbleholm joins us live now to explain why police believe this was a targeted attack. Haley. So that's because the police chief says the suspect in this case addressed the victim by name. The chief says that they've already had multiple witnesses come forward and they're confident they'll be able to find this suspect. The chief says they haven't had a murder here in Eustace in nearly four years. It's depressing. It's sad. Victor takes Palm Ave to get home every night. Extremely quiet, really nice neighborhood. Never hear of anything other than cars running by. That's it. But last night, the road was blocked. It was three or four cars, uh, police cars. It wasn't until this morning that he found out why. I was extremely surprised that there was a murder around here in this neighborhood, which is always very quiet. Police Chief Craig Capri says the shooting was a targeted attack. The suspect came for Laguerre right outside his home. This was a cold, calculated murder by a coward that walked up to an unarmed person and shot him. Uh, in front of his residence where his family was inside. Capri says they are offering a $10,000 reward for tips leading to an arrest. He's confident police will find the person responsible. I know you're out there. You're probably hiding and running. You're only going to be able to run so far. We're coming after you. We're going to lock you up and, and it's over. We're not going to tolerate this type of activity in our city. Zero. And for the family's sake, Victor hopes they do. So the people that got killed had family, friends. They were parents, siblings, daughters. I don't know. So I hope that they do find them and justice for them. Now, if you do have any information, you can report it anonymously to Crimeline. You can call 1-800-423-TIPS. Live in Eustace, Haley Crumble, Home, West 2 News.